We are in Hamilton for a special game tonight for Team Canada for the FIBA World Cup qualifiers as they continue their quest towards the Olympics. There's a number of NBA players on the team, including Kelly Olynyk and Dwight Powell. And sitting right beside them, that's Kyle Alexander. He plays for the Scarborough Shooting Stars. He also had stints with Miami Heat and the Phoenix Suns. And tonight marks the first time that he'll be able to play for Team Canada in front of his friends and family in his home country. 2021 was the first time I ever played with Team Canada, and that was in the Dominican. So this will be the first time I'm playing on home soil for my country. Like, it's, it's unbelievable. Like, I got to do it once with Scarborough, and I'll get, like, it's, it's been a great year so far. <laughs> okay, and then we'll get to talking about Spain and how you just annihilated it there. But how many tickets are you looking at for your family? Like, are you, oh. is the whole arena just your family? No, no, no. You know, we got to be considerate because everybody here is Canadian. So uh, I think they said about four tickets. Perfect. I got four immediate family members. So. Hopefully they can all be there to cheer me on. That is amazing. Now we do have to talk about your year in general. Like I swear, even this weekend you're in Tennessee here, then you're doing basketball camp. But Spain, what was that like there? Like you had some phenomenal performances. Thank you, thank you. There's something I think anybody who plays overseas will tell you. There's something, I don't know what it is about the experience, but you go over there and you just change as a person. Like you just completely, like you, you evolve almost. Like I grew so much as a human being, as a Christian. Like I just grew so much in, in, in myself and uh, it was an amazing experience in total. Did you also grow your language vocabulary? Oh, like, what's your si, Spanish si. like? Oh. You know, yo hablo español. Oh, <laughs> no, no, I just I speak a little bit. Un poco, un poco. <laughs> so when you're not in Canada, you're in Spain, you're in the U.S., whatever you're doing, like, ever doing amazing things, what is the one thing that's not friends or family that you miss that you can only get in Canada? Man, that's just tough, the, hey? the food, the food. <laughs> like, anytime I come home, there's like staple places I have to go. Like I have to go to Island Spice. Um, I have to go to the Real Jerk. You know, there's even some like chain restaurants that I have to go to. Like, got to get uh, some home cooking. Like, it's, there's always like it's just the food you miss. You know, like I couldn't find any Caribbean or Jamaican food in Spain. Um, it's certain cities in America you can get. You know, there's certain like you know Miami they got some spots. You know, there's certain states you can get some food, but. For the most part, it's the food that I miss. Um, we're not talking about the family, the friends, the you, you know, the, the the scenery, the CN Tower <laughs> glowing at night. You know, this is probably the food. Yeah. All of the things. And the last thing I'll tell you about: you've been so nice over the last few years talking to me over Zoom. And the very first time I spoke to you, you had your keyboard. You were learning some John Legend. Have you even had time to dust no, up those skills? No. What? Honestly, when I went to Spain, I was already overpacking. I was like, I got to leave the piano at home. But if anybody out there knows any. Uh, great piano schools. I've been looking. I've been to two spots. One didn't even exist after I went there. It was on Apple Maps, but I guess it wasn't there. I'm trying to find a place to take some piano lessons. So anybody who sees this, if you want to hit me up, if you want to teach me how to play the piano, I would love that. I'm trying to get on Nick Nurse's level. You know, I heard him playing after practice. Incredible. If you're a piano teacher, that is an opportunity of a lifetime to teach Kyle Alexander piano. Hit him up. Yes, he's talking about Nick Nurse, head coach of the Raptors, who's also the head coach of Team Canada here tonight. Tip-off is at 7 p.m. after this evening's game. They will be flying to the U.S. Virgin Islands, where they have tip-off on July 4th.